What's up, guys, and welcome to the Investing for Beginners community, hosted by me, Johnny Insignius. So, in today's video, I'm going to go over the top 10 stocks with over 10% in dividend yield. There's even a couple that are up in the 20%. Now, let's jump right into it. All that I ask is you smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't. So, the first one is New York City REIT, Inc., ticker symbol NYC, they have a dividend yield of 20.83%. That is insane, right? With all things, though, that are high dividend yield, be cautious when investing in them. Please do your own research. Now, number two is IVR, Invesco Mortgage. They are at a 20% as well. They pay $2.60 a year. Um, two Harbors Investment Corp., or TWO, is at a 16.95% dividend yield. They pay $2.72 a year per share. And I don't believe uh, Two Harbor is very expensive. Let's go to the price real quick. Uh, New York City REIT price looks like it's at $1.92. Uh, Invest Mortgage is at $12.80. And Two Harbor Investments is at $16. So for $16 per share, you can get $2.72 per year, which is pretty amazing when you start adding more and more shares. Okay, so moving along, moving along, AGNC Investment Corp, ticker symbol AGNC, their dividend yields is at 14.63%. They pay a dividend of $1.44 per year, and they even have an EPS of 1.2, or earnings per share of 1.2. And their share price is also very low at 9.85. Next up, number five on the list is Global X NASDAQ 100 Covered Call ETF. Now, their ticker symbol is QYLD. They have a 12% dividend yield, but be aware that ETFs do have a fee when you uh, invest in them. They do have ETF fees. I'm not sure. Sometimes it could be as low as 0.5%, and sometimes I've seen them as high as 2%. So be very careful because that will dig into your dividend yield. They pay $2.02 per year per share, and they're only $16. Next up, we have Redwood Trust, or ticker symbol RWT, and they have a dividend yield of 12.27%. They pay $0.92 cents per year. And it's only $7.50 a share right now. Now, keep in mind, they do have a negative earnings per share um, and a negative P.E. ratio. <clears throat> um, moving along here, we got number seven, A.R.I. or Apollo Communication or Apollo Com. Uh, they are at a 12% dividend in yield as well, and they pay $1.40 per year. The share price is only $11.54. So if you guys are wondering, look, how do I get into investing as a beginner and I don't have hundreds and thousands of dollars? Well, this is where you start, guys. The top dividend yielded companies out there right now currently on the market that are at least on my watch list anyways are very low um, very low entry points, less than $10, less than $20 per share. And do me a favor, guys, leave a comment if you guys have ever heard of these companies or if you um, want to share a company I've never heard of. I'm always looking for new companies and stocks to share with my viewers. All right, so moving on, we have number eight, AGNC Investments or AGNCL. Now, it's a lot like AGNC, but it's kind of like a sister company counterpart to it. They have a 12% dividend yield. And they pay $2.60 per year per share on $21 share price. So for $21, you can make over 12% on your investment. All right, number nine, Arbor Realty Trust, Inc., or ABR. They're at 11.5% dividend yield. They pay two. Uh, they pay $1.60 a year per share. And they have a share price of $13.92. They have an EPS or earnings per share of two and a PE ratio of nine. 
So this is a company that I uh, would recommend to investors. It has a very solid dividend yield. It has a nice P.E. ratio and a earnings per share of two. So those are all positive, um, which is great to see on the charts. OK, last but not least, we have Rhythm or R.I.T.M. Capital. Um, these guys were formerly known as, uh, help me out guys, I know the answer, I invest in it, I own shares of it, and I can't think of the name, anyways, um, man, it's on the tip of my tongue, they pay an 11.31% dividend yield, and $1 a year per share, um, and their share price is 8 dollars and 85 cents now i guess i could add this last one as a little bonus number 11 here calamos convertible in high income um, i have had multiple shares of this and i do add to it quite recently their ticker symbol is chy they have a 10.33 dividend yield they pay a dollar 20 per year per share and they're at 11 dollars and 63 cents now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the chart's going to show their uh, EPS, which shows a zero here, or their PE ratio moving forward, but uh, but that's okay. And uh, again, guys, there's so many other properties, um, and I, I actually have shares in quite a few of these. We have Starwood Property at 9.64%, uh, Ladder Cap Corp at 8.82%, City Office REIT, which I also own at 876 Main Street Capital at 7% dividend yield, Gain, I, you guys know I'm a, I am love Gain, for all of you who have been watching my channel for a long time, um, they have a 7% dividend yield, and that is monthly. They pay that out every single month, and they have been doing it for many, many years. LTC Properties at almost 6%, AT&T at 5.7%, Apple at 5.66%. So that is the top 20 stocks that have a dividend yield over 5%. But what I really wanted to showcase was the top 10 stocks that have a dividend yield over 10% and some as high as 20%, which is crazy. That would be the New York City REIT, Inc., um, upcoming corporate actions such as dividend yields. There's a dividend uh, for public storage on 1213, Iron Mountain Inc. on 1214, and the Pabina Pipeline Corp. or PBA on the 14th. So if you uh, have shares of those companies, they will be um, paying those dividends out to you very soon. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.